Hello everyone, welcome to day 10 of April Lead Code Challenge and I hope all of you are having a great time. My name is Anshir Deja, I am working as software developer 4 at Adobe and today I present day 653 of Lead Code Daily Challenges. The question that we have is baseball game. Here in this question, we are recording the scores of the baseball game and we need to identify the sum of all the scores that are on the record. There are few rules that are specified, I will be walking you through these rules as well as the example by the presentation so let's quickly hop on to it lead code 682 baseball game it's an easy level question on lead code and i totally feel the same however in case if you have any doubt understanding the solution or if you want to ask anything from me in general please feel free to ping me on the telegram group of coding decoded or the discord server the links are mentioned in the description below now let's shoot for understanding the question and walking through a test case uh, while creating the scoreboard, we are given few certain set of rules and the rules are as follows. You will be given a string that will be act as an operation string and it could possibly have four values. The first one is an integer value. If you see an integer value, what do you do? You record it to the scoreboard. If you see a plus value, what do you do? You extract the previous two scores, add them together and create a new score. If you see a string D, capital D, what do you do in such case? You extract the previous score, double it up and add it to your scoreboard. And if you see a string C, capital C, then again you extract the previous score, you remove it from the record. Now if I ask you guys what kind of data structure will be appropriate for solving this question, the answer is really simple. We will be using stacks. Why stacks? Because here you can see that we are making new additions onto the scoreboard. Also, we are removing the previously visited scores as per the operation string that we received. For, for example, here if we re receive C, then we have to remove the previous score C. And in order to keep track of the removals and the new addition, stack will be the most appropriate data, stru data structure over here. So you'll understand it by test case iteration. So let's quickly do it. So we'll create a switch case and in this switch case, we will add these rules as per the question so let's get started the first element that we see is 5 and let's create an empty stack since the stack is empty and the current element that we see happens to be an integer uh, what do you do you simply add it to your stack the next is 2 so you again add it to your stack the next is c as soon as you see c what you have to do you have to remove the previously added score so this is gone let's proceed ahead next we see is d so in case of d what do you do you extract the previous score you pick it up and you double it up and create a new score so 5 into 2 is 10 so you, what i'm gonna do i'm gonna add 10 to my stack now it has two elements 5 and 10. next we see is a plus sign and in case of a plus sign you need previous two elements previous two scores so the first one gets extracted as 10 and the second one gets extracted as 5 and once you have extracted these two up you add it together now the stack has become empty because both of them have been extracted uh, you add them together and you and the answer gets updated to 15 now very important thing you have to push all these three elements back onto the stack so first you are going to put 5 then you have to put 10 then you have to put 15 please remember you have to maintain this order which is very important otherwise if you see, see see in the next action you will gonna disrupt the order now once we are done with the simulation of the entire operations array that is given to us what do we do we we check what all elements are present onto the stack we sum those together up and return the result so 15 plus 10 is 25 25 plus 5 is 30 so 30 becomes the result for this and i'm exactly gonna follow the same steps as i've talked here by the coding section the time complexity of this approach is equal to order of length of operations array that is given to us and the space complexity is again equal to the no, operations array the length of the operations array that is given to us that is order of n so let's get started with the coding section and conclude this algorithm here i've created two elements and one is top element that will give me the topmost element of the stack and the second one is the second top element both of them are initialized to null then i go ahead and create a new stack i start operating over my operations 
array and with each iteration I extract the operation I convert into character format and then I extract the first index so if you carefully observe in case of C, D and plus uh, there will be only a single character in your operation string so in case uh, it matches with C then what do you do you simply remove the topmost element in case it matches with D what do you do you extract you peek out the topmost element, you multiply it with 2 and add it back onto the stack. In case of a plus sign, what do you do? You extract the topmost element, you extract the second topmost element using the peak operation and then you push the topmost element back, you push the topmost element plus the second top element onto the stack. Remember this order is important. If you mess up this or screw up this order, you are going to get incorrect results. Once we are done with these three cases, the last case is very simple. You simply convert this string into integer format because as per the last case, it's going to be an integer value and you simply add it to your stack. Once you are done with this, what do you do? You create an answer variable, you iterate over the stack, you add all the elements that are present onto the stack into the answer string and you simply return the result. So let's shoot for it. Accepted pretty fast the time complexity as i have already told is order of n so is the space complexity because in the worst case the stack is going to have as many elements as the operation string that is given to us this brings me to the end of today's session i hope you really enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question but till then goodbye sayonara take care your friend your mentor your catalyst until today just signing off Goodbye.